flashback Pujols has been on the team for a couple games now, and he has taken the field again. So in the first Pujols video I posted, my voice was given out on me bad. It felt like my mouth was so damn dry, it felt like I just drank a fucking cup of sand. It was so dry, it was given out on me, and I didn't really feel the need to run upstairs and get a glass of water or anything. I just want to grind out the commentary, even though I sounded like an idiot. When I when I replayed the video back, I was like, damn, I sound like a fucking idiot. But it, yeah, that was just the case. Hopefully I don't still sound like that. But yeah, I did the commentary at like 4 in the morning, so I was kind of... I was kind of tired yet excited because I just got pools. So yeah, that might have been a reason too. Is it was because it was really late slash early in the morning. So that yeah, that was just the case. And first at bat for pools in this game wasn't able to do anything. Just flying one out to right field right there, and the fielder is just hitting a weak ass dribbler to Cueto on the mound. I I am getting sick and tired of seeing David Price on the hill. Is anybody with me? I am getting sick and tired of seeing this guy on the hill. I can't, The funny thing is, is I can't even sell him in the market. The only thing I could do is I can just quick sell him for a thousand stubs at the moment. You know what I mean? If he was still a diamond, I may have been thinking about quick selling him and make 5,000 stubs. But now that he's down to a gold, what is the point of quick selling him and only getting a thousand stubs back in return? So that is, I don't know. I don't I don't really want to take him out of the starting rotation because he does he does pitch good every single time he's on the hill. No joke. He has pitched good every single time he has taken the mound, so I can't really take him out of the starting rotation. And I did pick up a new guy in the rotation, like I said in the in the previous video or something. And I still haven't been able to pitch with him yet. Of course, David Price is always on the damn mound and it's starting to bit starting to get a little bit annoying but I'm still working on getting some guys in the starting rotation not really sure who yet I saw there was man there was a lot of suggestions for me to get when I made that I forget what video it was but when I made that video asking some people to give me some suggestions of pitchers to get I really didn't expect that many people to respond and that was a good thing because some people have been giving me some good suggestions and I saw some some suggestions. I was like, hmm, that could be a possibility. So I'm still thinking about getting some guys. And Jake Arrieta was one guy that people were suggesting a lot. And I was looking at him. Forget how much he's going for at the moment, but he did have some good. He did have some good stats. I remember. And there was just a bunch of guys. Degrom, I think, was another one. I'm still, yeah, I'm st still looking for some guys in the starting rotation. I'm still, and I'm gonna be picking some guys up soon. Hopefully, and hopefully I'll be able to get Price off the fucking hill because I'm getting sick and tired of seeing his face on the mound. And some people have been suggesting me to get the the new Robinson Cano, the 97 Diamond Cano. Dude, I don't even know, man, because I was looking at, can you be the judge of that? Was that a ball or a strike? I don't know, man. I might have gotten squeezed right there. That was looking like a ball to me, but I don't know. Went down to strike three. But yeah, Cano, I don't know. If you ask me, I think the base Cano isn't even that much worse than the 97 overall Cano. I mean, yeah, the, just the gold Cano is pretty sick, if you ask me. And what is Cano at the moment? His gold card, I forget. 90? 90? I forget what it is. But that's still a pretty beastly card. And the 97 overall Cano isn't anything that impressive, in my opinion at least. Some people might think he's sick, but I don't know. I wouldn't pay a couple hundred thousand stubs for that Cano no chance in hell would I spend that much to get that Cano. Maybe like, I don't know. I don't want to give up a really low number or anything. But what, 50k or something? I mean, yeah, the base Cano is pretty sick. So I don't know. Here's the man of the hour right here. I got the beast coming to the plate. I'm taking one high. But, but. That time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field. And you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. Pools is just showing off now, man. Going opposite field, showing off that opposite field power. I got another beast coming to the plate in Prince Fielder. Can he go back to back? Take a one inside right there. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for something I can sit on. I'm sitting on something, but that is just a line out. 
to the shift right there. Left fielder able to take that. But I got another beast coming to the plate. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Marte going back, still going back. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. Dude, that 95 Batista has been killing people since he has been on the team. Killing people, assassinating people, dude. He has been putting up multiple hits per game. People have been suggesting me to get him too when I didn't have him. And they've been saying, I forget who it was, but one guy in particular was saying that he had the 95 Batista and he was just hitting he was just hitting bombs with him. And I agree, man. He has just been going off. I think that is his like sixth or seventh home run since he's been on the team. And this is probably only his sixth or seventh game being played. So I don't know, man. I don't even think I want to take this guy out of the starting lineup. Because he's just been going off at the plate. Plus, he has a pretty sick arm, too. So, I can't even... I can't do it. I gotta leave him in the start lineup. But, like I was saying before, with the Robinson Cano, the 97 Cano, wanted to get back to that. Because people have been suggesting me to get him a lot. And, I don't know. I would much prefer get the normal Cano, even though I'm not going to. I'm just saying. If people want me to get Robinson Cano, it will not be the 97 Cano. Because that card doesn't look... I remember one guy in the comments, too, said that, too. He said that the normal Cano is just as good almost as the 97 Cano. And I was like, you know what, man? I agree. I agree with that 100%. And I don't know. I'm still looking at some second baseman. One guy commented and said that the Dustin Pedroia is going for less than 100K. The 97 Pedroia is going for less than 100K at the moment. I did notice that too, which is crazy because just a couple days ago, I'm pretty sure he was going for over 150K. So maybe, maybe in the near, I don't know, probably not in the near future because I just got Phillips again. And he, here he is, Brandon Phillips. He is, Phillips is a beast, like I've been saying. An absolute beast at the plate, sending one deep. Not that deep, though, so you know who is coming up to the plate next. Digging in, Albert Pujols. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Oh, hold on here. Well hit into deep left center, and I don't think this one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone. Man, that fucking Pools is a machine. He is a robot. The thing with that Pools is he doesn't hit. You know, when he hits home runs, he doesn't hit the, the rainbow home runs, if you know what I'm talking about, the high, deep home runs. He hits fucking laser beams out of the stadium. The guy is just... He's just a man possessed. Even when he just grounds out or something, he, the ball just, it's a rocket off the bat. He just, he doesn't hit little dribblers, doesn't hit weak pop flies. The ball, like, he rips the fucking cover off the baseball every single time. He, every time he's up at the plate, he just goes off. It's unbelievable. <laughs> that home run literally left the, left the yard in about fucking two seconds. That was a frozen rope. 400 and something foot shot right there. I don't know. This Pools is a, he's just a mammoth beast. He only, yeah, he has like 95 power versus righties, 94 power, I mean, yeah, did I say right? Yeah, 95 versus righties and 94 versus lefties. He, statistically speaking, doesn't have as much power as Prince Fielder or Jose Batista, but I don't know. The thing is with Fielder is he hits, when he hits bombs, he hits, you know, those high, those high rainbow moon shots, you know what I'm talking about? And so does Batista. Batista has been hitting some lasers too. But every single time that flashback pools comes to the plate, he is hitting laser beams. The guy is, a, he's just a crazy person at the plate. David Price is also a crazy person at the plate. Every single game this guy is pitching, he also does it at the plate as well. Cashing in right there, driving one to left field right there, able to get the double. But anyway, past that. I'm still looking to get some more power guys in the lineup. I'm just trying to load the hell up on power guys. I'm looking to get the most powerful lineup in the history of planet Earth. No joke. I don't even know who to get anymore because I already have enough power guys. Speaking of power guys, look at this guy. Perfect example right there. Look at that, look at that home run from Fielder right there. You see how it was... Very, very high up in the air. The, the rainbow-esque type of home run in that in that uh, Pujols home run to center field was literally a fucking frozen rope. 
The first one from pools to right field wasn't a, like a laser or anything, but still, the second one was a frozen rope, got left the yard in milliseconds. Still, the guy's a beast. Prince Fielder is still a beast too. I'm just saying, every single time pools comes to the plate, it's it's just a laser off the bat. But yeah, I'm still looking to get power, guys. Call me a crazy person, but I'm still looking to get some power, guys. I don't even know who to get because I already have pools, Prince Fielder, uh, Jose Batista. And I guess that's pretty much it. Now, I still have Adrian Beltre as a... Actually, you know, what am I talking about? I actually got rid of that Beltre, to be honest, because, I don't know, I, I didn't really... He hasn't been doing much for me at the plate when I had him. He does have good... He only has good power versus righties anyway, so I did get rid of that 98 Beltre. You might call me a crazy person for doing that still, but still, I would 1 million percent rather have that Albert Pools anyway in the line of flashback Pools is... Much better. That bell trade did have very good fielding, though. That is the only thing I could say that I might miss from that 98 bell trade. And the Pujols doesn't have the best fielding. But still, if the fielding comes becomes an issue, I'm probably going to move Pujols over to first base and then try and maybe pick up another, thir first, or another third baseman in the process. I don't know. The future is still up in the air. Price still doing work on the mound, getting another W, 17 Ks, the guy can't be stopped, neither can Pools.